Hi, I'm Finn, I'm 16 years old. Hi, I'm Megan, I'm a dietitian. Today we're going to be cooking tacos, but first I have to wash my hands. So wet your hands with water and apply enough soap to cover all hand surfaces. Rub your hands palm to palm and clean the backs of your hands in between your fingers as well. Clean your fingernails and your thumbs and rinse off the soap with water. The whole thing should take about 20 seconds or long enough to sing happy birthday twice. Dry your hands with paper towel when you're done. So Finn, tell us about these tacos. So tacos are one of my favourite snacks to have, but you can have them with anything you want. Mm -hmm. Today we've got corn, onion, beans, tomato, lettuce and cheese, salsa and some yoghurt. Alright, so we've got the mince, we've got the onion and the capsicum and the corn and that's all going into the mince meat mix? Yep. Okay, and these are the toppings that we've got for later. So we're going to start by making the meat mince mix mm -hmm. and we're going to start by cutting up the capsicum. Mm -hmm. What you want to do is cut the end of it first and then cut the cheeks off. Mm -hmm. I usually um, just keep the, the claw grip so I don't cut off my fingers, but mm -hmm. usually keep it pretty safe. That's really good. Also, make sure that you cut from, not from the rubbery side, from the other side, because it gets a nice clean cut mm -hmm. instead of you struggling to cut it. Right. And done. What's the next step? And next we're going to put the ingredients into the pan. Mm -hmm. We've got the, um, the capsicum that we're going to put in first. Okay, so we've got a pan on the stove. Do we turn it on yet or later? Uh, not yet, okay. just after we've put the onions in. Right, so we've got some pre-sliced onion that we've already cut up ready to go. And a drizzle of olive oil. Okay. And turn on the stove. So what kind of temperature do we need on the stove? Uh, about medium high, so okay. just above medium. Sure. and get your wooden spoon and start to stir it up. Okay, and it's a pretty hot stove, Finn, so have you got any tips for people watching at home how to be safe? Yes, make sure to always use the handles mm -hmm. instead of touching the actual um, pan. Okay. Because you won't burn your fingers. Okay. We're gonna be stirring this up until the onion is translucent and then we're gonna be adding the corn, beans and mi minced meat. Okay. And that is nearly ready. Look how beautiful that looks. So when we're looking at this fin, how can we tell it's nearly ready? Um, you'll see that it's starting to sizzle and the onion is translucent. Okay, great. So we're going to put in the minced meat. Mm -hmm. So we've got the mince. The corn. The corn. Sprinkle that around. And the beans. Okay. Let me get these out of your way. So once we've got those in, what do we look for next? Um, make sure to break up the minced meat. Okay. And also put in the spice. So we're just using a spice mix that came from the taco packet, but you could also make your own mix. The main kind of spice is you want to use are things like cumin, paprika, coriander. So you just want to try to break up the mince and stir the ingredients around so that everything cooks evenly. So Finn, how long do you need to cook this for? Um, you should be able to cook it for about 10 minutes and it should start to, the meat should start to brown. Okay. And once it's nearly cooked, add the water. Right. So how can you tell when the mince is cooked all the way through? Because it can go kind of brown on the outside, but do you yeah, know if it's you'll, cooked? Yeah, you'll keep stirring it and breaking up the mince and in, in the middle it should be brown all the way through. Right. And can you, do you need to stir the whole time? Not necessarily, no, you can leave it after a while mm -hmm. and just keep an eye on it in case. So after a little bit, you can start to mix it again and break up all the other pieces. All right, great. And now the minced meat is nearly cooked up, so we're going to add the uh, water. And now cook for another minute until the water is evaporated and it should thicken it right up. And while that's happening, we can put the taco shells in. Mm -hmm. 
make sure to keep the little paper spacer in because that keeps the tacos nice and white and stops them from folding in. Mm -hmm. So today we're using corn hard tacos, but you can use any kind of tacos. You can use soft tacos, you could use a wrap or tortilla, whatever you prefer. Right, we'll keep cooking this for a little bit longer and it's starting to thicken up. So we'll move that to the side and turn the stove off mm -hmm. and just put it to the side here and start the guacamole. Okay, so I hear you have a special recipe for the guacamole. Yes, so one um, and a half avocados, mm -hmm. one lime, mm -hmm. and we'll use half an onion for this. Okay. So start by cutting the end off it. What most people do is they cut the little knobbly bit off as well, um, the root. We like to keep it on to hold it all together. Okay. So you'll put it on the flat side and cut straight down the middle with the claw cutting technique. Straight down the middle. So by keeping the onion together, does that help you stop crying? Yeah, it <laughs> stops you from crying. Okay. And take, take the skin off. Okay, so we've got these into nice small little cubes. And just keep cutting it until you get it to the um, consistency that you like, basically as fine as possible. All right, as that starts to get um, nice and fine, we will put it into the mixing bowl with the um, pre-prepared avocado. Just push it in with the blunt side of the knife like that. And get your other avocado. Use the claw technique to cut down like this, down straight down the middle, and go around the pip. And to get rid of the seed, you grab, grab a spoon to keep it safe, not using the knife. Put it to the side. Get in like that, and just scoop around and get all the avocado out of the skin. And then put it into your bowl. So just put it straight in whole like that? Yep, and then mm -hmm. we can mash it up in there. Okay. So eating guacamole like this with avocados is a really good way to get a good dose of healthy fats. Avocados are very good for you and you're getting some onion as well in there, which is a good source of vegetables. And to give it extra flavour, we'll add the lime. Just one lime should be the trick. Get the other half. And then we will start to get the fork and start to mash it up until a consistency that you like. It's really a preference. You can have it thick, you can have it chunky, smooth. It's really up to you. All right, the guacamole is now finished. Now we're going to take the taco shells out of the oven. Grab them. Always use an oven mitt so you don't burn your hands. Them here. They look perfect. Now that we've cleaned our workspace, don't want to leave it to mum and dad to do. Um, we're going to start us to assemble the taco. We'll grab one taco shell and put the meat in first. This can you, the assembling of the taco can be done however you want. I like to put the lettuce on next. Put a little bit of lettuce on, a bit of guacamole. So this is a really great balanced meal that will keep the whole family happy. We've got a good serve of meat, we've got some veggies, we've got some dairy and we have some grains as well. Next we're going to put the tomatoes on, depending if you like them or not. And this is a really great versatile dish that is even better the next day. And there we go. How good does that taco look?